Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a project share of an embellishment book that I made for Claire who is the Curious Trinket and I made this for her as part of our Halloween swap. Claire is on YouTube and on Instagram. I'll link her channel below and she's one of my favorite crafters and I was so excited to make this embellishment book for her because she and I are both big fans of Harry Potter. So I decided that as part of our Halloween swap that I was going to make her a Harry Potter project and it turned out to be this embellishment book. So as you can see, I have a major issue with this book and it's that it doesn't even close because of the embellishments I have in here. But yeah, it's it wasn't, uh, I didn't think that through. Anyways, I'll show you first the charm that I have on here, which I was really, really happy to have made using these really cute charms. I got this Hedwig charm and this, let's see, Deathly Hallows charm from Brittany, who is, I think her um, shop is called the Crafty Owl Studio. And then I had several beads in my stash. I think um, two or three of these beads are from Rhoda, who is the Happy Little Corner. And um, I made little charms using the house colors out of these little beads. So we've got Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw here. Hopefully I got the colors right. And then on top I just added some ribbons in Gryffindor colors and then just some black and white and gold. Um, because this is a Halloween swap so black and white and gold work perfectly. So on the cover I used die cuts that I printed out using the Witches and Wizards collection, which is, I think, an Echo Park collection. Um, the digital collection was available last year for a really, really good deal. So I snagged it because it was Harry Potter themed. So on the top, I've just added some holographic chipboard stickers from Joann's. And yeah, it's definitely giving me Harry Potter vibes. Um, this word potions I just made using um, Microsoft Word. There's a font out there that's a free font that you can pick up and just make your own words with it. So yeah, that's that. And um, oh, and the cover is made using some Harry Potter licensed fabric that I got from Jillian's. So I covered the front and the back with it and then added some black trim to the sides. And this is made of chipboard here and I added some um, what do you call it? eyelets to kind of just make it sturdy and these are just I think one and a half or one inch binder rings so this inside cover and the back cover are made using the Frank Garcia 31 collection on the very first page it's Harry Potter's birthday cake and I have a little bit of a design error here probably should have cut that acetate but I didn't think when I sewed it on um, I didn't want to put these cake embellishments directly on the happy birthday Harry. So I made it so that you know um, Claire can flip it up, but I didn't think it through when I added the rings. So anyways, Claire, you can flip this page up if you watch this video. Um, so I made her the Harry Potter cake, which was pink. I didn't have glitter on it, but I thought it was more festive with the glitter on. And then I also added a couple of additional cakes made using a Stampin' Up cake punch. So that's the first page. The next page is the Leaky Cauldron, which um, everyone knows who's in the Harry Potterverse is one of the inns that you can stay at in the Wizarding World. Um, so this foam piece is from Dollar Tree, and I think I purchased this during St. Patrick's Day. So I just sewed some um, around the edges and then hand sewed on these bul um, bubbles that are coming out of the cauldron. And this is just some fluff that I got from Hobby Lobby. So yeah, that's the Leaky Cauldron, or my take on the Leaky Cauldron. Next, I made some Christmas jumpers, one for Her uh, Ron and one for Harry. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's of course from the first movie or the first book of Harry Potter. This is made using the KS Craft sweater die, which I think it's called an ugly sweater die. And for Ron, I've added a rat sequin to his rosette. And I have some um, eyelash trim that Alicia from Alicia's Crafty Hoplop, she gifted me last year. 
and it's in maroon and gold, which is perfect for Gryffindor colors. And in the movie, Harry gets a blue jumper from the Weasleys, so that's what this is. And then I've added a die cut out of vellum, which is supposed to be Hedwig. And this is from a Tim Holtz die. And then the next page, I've tried to capture the colors of Honey Dukes, which is the candy store. And I've made a bunch of these gummy bears out of a glue gun. And I've had black and I had white glue sticks. So that is what is layered on top of these rosettes in addition to some tool that is from Michaels. So also to go with the Honey Dukes theme, I've made a little charm that I've added on the corner here. And it's just a candy bead and then the pink and green colors of the Honey Dukes logo. And then on the back, which I'm super excited about, is these ribbon candy beads, which I got from Secret Stash Bash. And I made a sequence mix in the pink and green colors of Honey Dukes. And then it's in this pouch, which I've just kind of kept, I think I double-sided sticky taped it onto this page and used this candy bread, which I got from Michaels a while ago. And the paper that I have it backed on is from the latest garden party collection from Maggie Holmes. And I had made these broomsticks, didn't know where to put it. I was going to just toss it into my uh, box that I have for Claire, but then I decided I was just going to add it here because it makes the most sense. And these broomsticks are a reference to the three broomsticks, which I think is like a tavern in Harry Potter. So yeah, I made these broomsticks, used some stitching. I was very much inspired by, I think, um, Adriana Alvarez. I think she made some broomsticks like this, but several ladies now on YouTube and Instagram have showcased it. And yeah, I was just inspired to make these. And I have tool in the center and just embellish the top of the um, broomsticks here with some sequins and tool and just other little flat back details. And yeah, so this is the back cover. I don't have anything special in here. Again, it's just the Harry Potter fabric. So yeah, that is my embellishment book for Claire. So thank you so much everyone for visiting my channel. Have a great day. Bye!